Hello WTV and I am Dawson, this is JJ, B, and Harley. And today we're going to be making slime to jump in on the slime train on YouTube. First you want to take glue, clear glue or where, where's the white glue? Or white glue. White glue. And you just want to pour it into a mixing container, like somewhat like this, not exactly. And then some things are optional, like color, shaving cream, foaming soap, and lotion, and sparkles. And you want to put some baking soda in to help activate it. There's actually two methods to making slime, which is the baking soda and contact lens solution, which is what we're using today, and borax and water. You want to mix the baking soda in really good. Make sure to not add too much, or else you're going to just get a big old blobbiness, and that's not going to be good. And like if you want color. And once you have everything you want in there, you just want to stir it. If you add any like something if you have if you're using clear glue and you add like lotion or something, it works more like this, but just hopefully maybe the air bubbles will go up after a few days. And those colors, if you want to add any color. I'm just going to keep mine sort of clear. And if you're finished and with the mixture, how you want it, you want to take contact lens solution and squirt some in there, and then stir. And then you want to keep repeating this until you get a slime texture that you prefer. Just don't make it too sticky. And the contact solution will help form the slime. And the same with the baking soda, you don't want to add too much or else you'll get a hard, rubbery mess. Once the slime no longer sticks to your utensil, what you're stirring with, and the bowl, then that means that's ready. Or if it doesn't stick to your hands, if you decide to knead it. And if you're kneading with your hands, you can like dip some activator on, which is why B is here for us, that we decide to do eventually. Yep. Which I think I'm about to do that now. So. And it gets very messy. And you might want to keep slime away from like fur, kids. kids. I'm trying not to break the cup. Don't break the cup. <laughs> Always have adult supervision. And permission. Because they're not going to let you make this. Hey B, I need some please. Yes, JJ. Thank you. Going back to the sticky part with the um, slime, 
if you get it caught in carpet or something like that, you can use citric acid to help get it out. Um, and when they're done kneading the slime, it should look something like this as your end result. Depending on what, this is just an example slime that was pre-made. And this is I've cracked my cup this how it there. should look when you play with it. This is a little, mm. and when you pull it apart and you stick it back together, it's good. It makes little poppy noises with your fingers. It's good. And if the slime like tears whenever you're stretching it, that is normal. B. And that will be all for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye. Bye. Bye.